Welcome to part 10 of the lecture on catalytic organometallics. Subject of today are palladium-2 catalyzed processes. Especially today we focus on the so-called in-ion cyclization. First example of such a process this E is the abbreviation for an ester, namely ethyl or methyl ester. Doesn't make much of a difference. Starting from a malonate, two substituents are introduced, one bearing an olefinic moiety, the other one um, an alkyne. And this is, of course, easy to be set up, a model compound where the ion cyclization can be tested with various metals and uh, metal transition metal catalysts. And uh, uh, as it turned out, uh, palladium is uh, indeed especially productive. So with 5% of a palladium 2 catalyst, this can be simply palladium acetate or palladium aquec and um, <coughs> some, uh, some normal more uh, palladium um <coughs> salts. In addition, 10% of triphenylphosphine Generally, one needs an acid and uh, acetic acid is usually applied. In this example, benzene was chosen as the solvent. I'm sure that toluene is uh, also sufficient or suitable. Two hours reaction time at very moderate conditions, room temperature. And then an 80% overall yield was obtained of cyclization products. The main one had the structure of a 1,4 diene and the other two isolated and identified products were 1,3 dienes, just the cis and the trans stereo isomer. This one is, of course, more sterically hindered, and therefore the ratio is 68 to 30. To two. So this is called in ion cyclization, but we should compare it with uh, related reactions we very well know. For instance, the Diels Alder reaction. An intramolecular deals all the reaction with a similar framework would look like this. Well, deals all the reaction will form a cyclohexene moiety. And here, since, uh, <coughs> well, a tether connects the diene and uh, the dienophile, 
well, an annihilated ring system would be the result. Closely related is the so so-called Alder-Ean reaction, or also simply the Ean reaction. The similarity between the Diels Alder reaction and the Alder Ean reaction becomes clear with this drawing. This hydrogen is transferred from this carbon to that one, while this CC bond is formed. And the process we are focusing on, on the in ion cyclization, transition metal catalyzed, Essentially, is a transition metal catalyzed aldehyde cyclization with a special case that we have an acetylenic moiety involved. Actually, this type of reaction is not only catalyzed by palladium, also by platinum complexes, ruthenium, rhodium catalyzed um, in in cyclizations are known, as well as those based on titanium catalysis nickel catalysis and I think even chromium catalysis. Now had, had, let's have a look uh, for the mechanistic considerations. <coughs> Once again, the framework we need. One mechanistic scheme that is regarded to be involved, well, at least rather often, is with such a palladium two catalyst well, just uh, palladium zero and uh, an acid, for instance, acetic acid added to palladium zero, and palladium zero would uh, be formed well, by the usual processes, uh, redu reduction of uh, palladium two by the phosphine ligands, for instance. So. This palladium 2 is highly electrophilic and will coordinate to the acetylenic moiety and the olefin. Therefore, this pre-coordination will, of course, influence the regioselectivity of the hydropalidation step. Now, a carbopalladation that 
will give that uh, five member carbo cycle. Then better hydrogen elimination to this position will lead to the main product And setting free, of course, the active palladium-2 catalyst. On the other hand, better hydrate elimination to this position will lead, of course, to the 1,3 diene, which is interesting for diels aldo reaction and so on. So if you have a model compound with, yeah, well, no better hydrogen here at this position, then, then it's clear that you won't get a 1,4 diene than the final better Hydrogen elimination must take place to form then the 1,3 diene. An alternative mechanism is often discussed, and uh, at least in some cases, cases it's involved for sure. That is the catalysis by a palladium-2, well, without a hydropalladation step. So, again, the palladium-2 will coordinate an analogy to this situation, to the alkyne and to the olefin, and then the cyclo Palladation takes place with such a palladium four intermediate. So a pallader cycle with uh, the palladium formally in the oxidation state plus four. In this case, it's very clear that the beta hydride elimination to this position is inhibited because of this ring system. You just don't get that in a cis position cis to the palladium, well, with a di dihedral angle of, of zero degree, of course. Yeah. But here, as this can rotate, no problem that a hydrogen uh, gets into the conformation with uh, zero degree dihedral angle, and therefore, the beta hydride elimination to this position wins Reductive elimination from this palladium-4 intermediate, transferring the hydrogen to that carbon, also leads to the observed main product. Well, looks convincing. 
somewhat complicated but convincing. The truth is it's far more complicated. Yeah? Well, a surprising result published uh, or reported by uh, Antonio Echavarren from Madrid. He has studied the mechanistic details of a lot of uh, palladium, platinum, and gold catalyzed processes. So, similar system, an in ion system. Now, here with the hetero atom, but this is uh, not uh, directly involved in the process. L additional substituent, the phenyl group there. With palladium chloride, 10%, triphenylphosphine as ligand, dioxane as solvent, some D2O present. 80 degrees, four hours reaction time, then as the main product, well, actually now, a uh, one four diene can't be formed because we don't have a meth methyl group here or a CH2 group. Yeah? So the beta hydride elimination can't occur to this position. Well, we would anticipate that a one three diene is formed. However, with the electrophilic palladium two, the diene system would be activated and, uh, of course, for the attack of the nucleophile connected li in connection with the Wacker process we will discuss in detail tomorrow. Well, the D2O is added and finally resulting in, well, of course, racemic, this product and what is interesting, well, if we discuss or have those mechanisms in mind, then the second deuterium should be here at this position, but actually it was found to be located here. Same starting material Somewhat different reaction conditions, palladium dichloride as a catalyst, acetone with some water in it, 55 degrees reaction temperature, 18 hours reaction time. All as the main product, the same one but not deuterated was found, but the byproduct with a 10% yield clarifies that the mechanism is clearly somewhat more complicated. An aldehyde functionality here and moreover, a cyclopropane moiety was formed. And as I said, a 10% yield of that. Well, how does uh, a Chavarin 
explain this experimental fact? Well, he suggests a clearly different mechanism, different from what we have seen before. So, the palladium chloride coordinates differentially to the electron-rich alkyne, therefore activating that alkyne for the attack of a nucleophile. Well, what will be the nucleophilic center here? This carbon. Because he can afford some electron density, and here we have then the cationic counter charge stabilized in benzylic position. So, So an anionic palladium 2 that makes this position highly nucleophilic attacking, forming a bond to this benzylic position. So, and what strange intermediate do we have here? Well, this should be a palladium-4. There is no charge, palladium. And it is a palladium carbene complex. Later on, when we discuss other metals within uh, this uh, lecture, we will also find some examples with uh, platinum, carbene complexes, and gold carbene complex, which are rather important. And later on, uh, the ruthenium carbene complexes are, of course, very important for metathesis reactions. So, <coughs> well, <coughs> the palladium carbene complex influences the stability of that cyclopropane unit, and now the nucleophile can attack, for instance, D2O. This is the position with the highest delta plus and well of course it's not clear is it all an SN2 or an SN1 process. So, <coughs> this is an equilibrium, or can be interpreted as an equilibrium. So, deprotonation here, putting the dot deuterium to the palladium. <coughs> well, 
Well, and then reductive elimination explains why Eschavaron found <coughs> the deuterium in this position with the high stereochemical uh, selectivity. So, and uh, the transformation of uh, this carbene complex this is the competing reaction producing in 10% that uh, uh, aldehyde. So, in special cases, at least with, uh, well, electronically stabilizing uh, by conjugation phenyl groups and, and others, also special uh, reaction mechanistic pathways might be involved. Well, back to the in ion cyclization, the normal e ion cyclization producing 1,4 dienes and now um, their applications in synthesis. Here we have an easy accessible substrate with an OH group. It is a terpene, of course, called carniol. And now we have a substituent at that oxygen that transfers the hydroxyl group into a good leaving group or a medium leaving group. If it's a good leaving group, well, then R is a meso group, SO2CH3, and then the nucleophile as a nucleophile already this kind of malonate that propagulated malonate can be applied in THF it will react without additional catalyst reaction was reported by Barry Trost's group. In this case, well, not a very good yield, but it certainly can be optimized, 38%. But if you have an O-acetate here, then it wouldn't directly react uh, with the malonate. You need palladium catalysis then, a palladium zero catalyst. Well, this is the reaction we discussed in the preceding uh, lecture in part nine. It's the tsuji reaction. And this proceeds under net retention So the leaving group was on the same side as the propanyl substituent. In that case, under retention, 
the malonate side chain will also be located on the same side as that propanol drip. Now we have set up a system with an in and an in functionality ready for the in in cyclization. So, palladium 2 catalysis or palladium 0 plus acetic acid, that's essentially then also palladium 2 catalysis. Five-membered ring is formed. Sixty percent in this case. And well, similar with the other stereoisomer. And in that case, a 73% yield was isolated. <coughs> These studies from the Trost group are related to the synthesis of a natural product. It was the picotoxinin in synthesis. Well, let's draw that highly functionalized ring system. So, a lactone here, and a second lactone here connecting these positions. Well, okay rather complicate structure and I hope you notice that the isopropyl group we have here, CH3 group there, while well this is still the wrong uh, stereochemistry. As I said, these studies are related to the synthesis of that. The model compound for, no, no, the, the real compound for the cyclization step, the key step in the synthesis of picro picrotoxinin, had the following structure. So, already some oxo functionalities involved. TBDMS, that's uh, um, tertiary butyl dimethyl silyl.
Well, the Travis group started from Carvone, where you have, well, instead of the alcohol, a carbonyl group there. And then, of course, you are able to introduce a hydroxyl methyl group here at that position. So, and the key step was applying the cyclization step with uh, palladium acetate and as ligand, turned out that this one is optimal for this process. Well, is uh, this bis imine ligand. Secondly, with um, tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride, you get rid of uh, all those silo protecting groups. And over these two steps, an overall yield of 75% was obtained. of this structure. And as you see, you already have right groups and right stereochemistry. Here the CH3 group, the OH group. You have an interesting functionality in allylic alcohol, which you then can use for setting up this moiety. Well, and uh, here you have a hydroxymethyl group Later on, you will be able to oxidize that. Still a lot of steps to go from here to there. If I remember it uh, correctly, this is, well, approximately step 14 in the synthesis of uh, picrotoxinin. The overall synthesis was completed by Kurt Hafner. And had then about 25 steps. Kurt Hafner is a dear colleague of mine. I, we were working bench to bench at that time. And I remember very well when Kurt reached step 16, he ran out of a material. And therefore he had to start from carbon again, about two kilograms of carbon, 16 steps, and then he had on uh, off stage 16 about 250 grams. How long does it take to produce that? Well, you have to go sure that you don't lose your material by accident. So, he divided every step into five parts and did it five times a week. So, on Monday, setting up first time, Working up on Tuesday at the same time, the second part, setting up on Tuesday. You know, finishing on Saturday, step by step. And indeed, after 16 weeks of work, he had the 250 grams. And then he had to go on for one or one and a half year to finally succeed, succeeding in making his uh, molecule. Well, okay. That's the reality of natural product synthesis. More examples, very similar to the examples before.
instead of a carbon cycle, you can also use the same reaction for setting up heterocycles. So palladium acetate, triphenylphosphine, I think also some, some acetic acid is involved. Again, benzene, 60 degrees, and then the analogous heterocycle is formed. Obtained in 74% yield. So this is the palladium-2 catalyzed variant. And, well, you can obtain, of course, the same product with applying palladium-0 catalysis. with a slightly different substrate. Well, that has not been done, but it could be done simply by an intramolecular hack reaction and better hydride elimination to this position. <coughs> now example where the formation of the one four diene is not possible because of a lack of uh, the appropriate better hydrogen. Palladium acetate, well, the reaction most interestingly done in deuterochloroform. Well, it, it is uh, very often a good idea just uh, making a test tube reaction in the NMR tube. 45 degrees and a 60% yield was reported of this 1,3 diene. With this uh, in ion cyclization, it is possible to synthesize even more annihilated systems. The in ion cyclization is then the initial step of a domino process. So, all we need for the in ion cyclization is this moiety, but now we have an additional olefinic functional group here. And uh, the in ion cyclization will produce. This intermediary
palladium two complex with no zin hydrogen. Well, therefore, there's no choice but undergoing a carbopalladation of that terminal olefin, then better hydride elimination. will lead us to this strange compound with uh, three unrelated five-membered rings and two exocyclic double bonds isolated with 43% yield and of course this is uh, related to um, a natural product here's a teen Well, I should uh, show structure of hirsutine in connection with the elegant synthesis done by Dennis Curran group. Well, he didn't choose transition metal chemistry, but A radical chain reaction and indeed because of the elegance of uh, this synthesis his uh, hirsutine synthesis became rather famous I think it's from 1980, 1987 tributyl tin hydride as hydrogen transfer reagent for radical chain processes AIBN for starting the radical chain process well and about more than 50 percent yield of this final product was obtained already with the right stereochemistry also with one exocyclic double bond yeah while well, this is uh, already here's a teen the natural product finally we should discuss a special case of the enine cyclization, the so called enine metathesis. Well, a very nice catalyst was found rather selectively catalyzing this type of reaction a pal palladar cyclopentadiene which can be formed by the reaction of palladium zero with uh, <coughs> acetylene dicarboxylic acid esters and uh, the optimized catalyst has some special R groups, fluorinated R groups CH2, CF3 or CH2, 
CF2, CF2, CF3. This uh, fluorinated uh, side chain makes uh, this uh, palladium 2 cycle more electrophilic and more reactive. So what happens here? Again, those in ions are cyclized by that palladium 2 intermediate. Now clearly, a five-membered palladium cycle is formed out of this moiety. And, uh, well, of course, with those, <laughs> with that uh, palladium cyclopentadiene moiety still present, and that means we have that spirocycle as an intermediate. This is then palladium in the formal oxidation, oxidation state plus four. So let's call that the catalyst A. And here a reductive elimination occurs connecting this carbon with that one and right. A cyclobutene is formed. Since this might be rather strained, well, depending on the exact reaction conditions, higher temperature, this will, of course, open up then and therefore completing the in ein metathesis. Two examples for this type of reaction, both from Beritrose group, one stopping at that stage of a reaction, the other one going further on to the metathesis product. The cyclooctene and here again ester functionalities these esters were uh, simple ethyl or methyl esters think methyl ester, but not important. Well, the same catalyst, that catalyst A. So, this type of product is formed. That means four-membered ring here. And indeed, that worked with an astonishing 85% yield. Next example. Very similar. But now, with a tosylated amino group and again that propagulic ester side chain A as catalyst should 
then give an analogy to the preceding example, such as cycloboutine. With that five-membered ring here being somewhat more strained, this has not been isolated. Electrocyclic ring opening occurred. So, this should be the result. I hope that's right. I think so, yeah. 58%. Well, I think rather interesting chemistry with a lot of potential in synthesis. Finishing for today, tomorrow, we will uh, discuss a very important, industrial important uh, palladium catalyzed process, the Wacker process. Mm -hmm.